Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews, or as they say in German, Beer Dad's Beer Critiquen. Um, we're going to do another beer from Oktoberfest 2024. We're going to do this. And this is the Augustina Brau uh, Oktoberfest beer. Um, this I just got out of Barton's in Ashton-Makerfield. Um, best for this one is January 2025. And it is a 6.3% ABV beer. This is one of my one of my favourites, I've got to say. Um, I, I think this is beautiful. I um, have a little look at the old label. It's like a giant beer colour to me. Could be the Augustina Brauri. I am um, in Munich. Anyway, let's crack on. So there is the old Caparoo. Um, I'm using my Vorsteiner tankard, my Paul Anna one, <clears throat> it's getting washed. So let's pop a top on this and see what we've got. Now I've still not been able to find the Lowenbrow and I've still not been able to find the Hakapashore yet. Maybe it else. This is for a lovely clear light straw colour um, and I've not been able to find the Hofbrow but and <clears throat> um, Barton's way loading the shelves up as I was in there so I'm assuming I'm hoping they're going to get the rest of them in so anyway, so being a glass let's just move the Vorstein and label out of the way so being a glass what have we got we've got ourselves a lovely light crystal clear gold colour beer got some nice streaming carbonation into a two finger densely compact white head let's put some illumination to it see what happens yeah, got a lovely, lovely gold colour. Look at that. Beautiful. And I say, you can see my ugly fizzer through it. So, let's get the old, uh, the old nose, shall we? See what we can smell. Cheers. Prost. Lovely that. Malty. A bit of bready malt. A little bit of sweetness in there, a little bit of citrus in there. Again, again, I know it is exactly what it is, but it smells like it should. It smells like a quality, high quality German lager. So the body carbonation. Cheers, everybody. Mm. That's excellent. That is absolutely delicious. So, body is um, body's light. Itchy you nose. Know. Body's light. Carbonation is light, but again, fizzes. Fizzes about. Um, covers your palate really well. Yeah, lovely. So let's go for a big taste. Let's say crossed. Great. That is really cool. Really cool. Again, it's multi. It's got a dry finish. A little bit of sweetness there. A little bit of grassy. Grassiness as well. Very nice. That was really nice indeed. Everything you want from a top top quality German beer. I'd love to go to Oktoberfest. I really would. Um, I don't have a ball. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Is exactly what you want. Clean, crisp, a little bit of sweetness in there, a little maltiness, light dry finish, perfect. 6.3 I said this was in there. 6.3, it doesn't taste like a 6.3% beer to me. It tastes 
<coughs> like it's, it's it's maybe well five percent. It's so easy to drink. Really good, really cool. If you want to see some decent and some good um, Oktoberfest uh, beer reviews for twenty twenty four, in fact, I want to watch, watch a decent beer reviewer. I um, have a little bit of fun games as well. <laughs> if you haven't already, check out Don's beer reviews. At the moment, what he has been doing at the moment, what he has been doing. Excuse me. Was comparing his perfect draft Oktoberfest beers to the battle versions that he's got. He gets dressed up. He has a bit of unplay music in the background. He's very good. He's very entertaining. So check him out. I um, anyway. As I say this is hard to beat. This. See you on the next one. Hell yeah.